Hi, Yan here. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering, how do I set up scale in Revit and export my model to PDF printing? Well, if you're wondering that, you're at the right video. Accurate scaling ensures that your drawings are professional and clear. Revit 2025 includes enhancements to the PDF export process, improving fidelity, accuracy, and speed. If this helps, like and subscribe, and let's begin. First, let's talk about understanding scale dependency of annotations. Revit's annotation elements, like dimensions and text, are scale dependent. When you change the view scale, annotations adjust proportionally. So, open your floor plan view, set the scale to 1 is to 100, then change it again to 1 is to 50. You'll see that the annotations appear larger. This keeps them readable at any zoom level. Now that we're done with that, Let's talk about changing the view scale. Use the scale drop-down menu at the bottom of the view and select a preset scale. For custom scales, click anywhere on the floor plan and go to the properties panel. Find the view scale and select custom. Enter your scale like maybe 1 is to 75 and click OK. The custom scale dialog allows renaming but Standard naming is recommended. Now that we're done with that, let's set up your drawing on a sheet. Starting with a title block, in the project browser, locate Sheets, right-click, and select New Sheet. And now, you should be able to choose title block. If none are available, you can always go to File, Load Family, and choose Title Block. Pick a size like A4 metric and click OK. Now, drag your floor plan onto the sheet and if it appears too large, Revit includes a full model extent. Now to adjust the view of the extent using crop regions, you can always open your floor plan view and in the properties panel under extent, enable crop view and crop region visible. Then click apply. Adjust the crop boundary to include only the necessary parts of your drawing. Hide the crop boundary by unchecking crop region visible and return to your sheet. Your drawing should fit better. If needed, drag your floor plan for better alignment. Now that that's done, let's move on to managing the title block information. Select View on the Sheets and open the Properties panel. Change the view name to update the title block and ensure that the scale in the title block is updated accordingly as well. Adjust the title display by selecting Title on Sheet and choosing either None or No Title no title line or only name and scale or the default with a title line. We're almost done, so now we move on to exporting to PDF or printing. To do this, you go to File, Print, and Print Setup. In Print Setup, choose your output. If you're printing, choose a physical printer or if you're exporting it to PDF, choose Adobe PDF. In Revit 2025, the Select View Sheets dialog now includes columns for sheet collection, sheet numbers, and current revisions information, making it easier to manage selection. Click Browse to select a save location and set print range to current window. Click Setup to configure settings and match the paper size to the title block. Set the orientation to portrait or landscape, really depends on you, and choose high raster quality. For color options, select color for color drawings, obviously, and grayscale for shades of gray and black lines for all black outputs. For scaling, fit to page adjust the drawing to fit the paper while zoom to 100 keeps the correct scale. Zoom to 100 is recommended, but of course you can always tweak the output yourself. Choose vector processing for sharp lines, then if you're satisfied, click OK to save settings. Preview this before you print or you save as a PDF, of course. Just making sure. And you're done. You've successfully set up scale and adjusted view extents. You've also exported our Revit drawing to PDF, so what more can you do? The Revit 2025 improvements to PDF exports made this process even more efficient. And proper scaling ensures clarity for clients, professors, and teams. Well, if this was helpful, like, subscribe, and comment with questions down below or tutorial requests. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Jan. Bye!